And we're going to go right into presentations and proclamations. But move right to the first one, and it's going to be Domestic Violence Awareness Month proclamation presented by Council Member uh, Moore and uh, Angela Denberg, Executive Director of Domestic Women's Abuse Network. Dawn will be receiving it. Go ahead, Council Member Moore. Thank you. Whereas Domestic Violence Awareness Month is held each October to unite advocates across the nation in their efforts to end domestic violence and whereas according to the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, one in four women and one in nine men in the U.S. will experience sexual or physical violence and or stalking by an intimate partner during their lifetime and Whereas domestic violence is a significant public health issue that has a devastating impact on survivors, children, families, and our community. And whereas domestic violence can happen to anyone and is present in every community, regardless of race, culture, ethnicity, religion, sexual orientation, gender identity, age, or economic status. And whereas patterns of abusive behavior include physical and sexual assault, emotional abuse, isolation from friends and family, monitoring and controlling another's finances to gain power and control over them. And whereas the COVID-19 pandemic has led to increased incidences of domestic violence and added additional challenges to survivors seeking support. And whereas people with disabilities, those experiencing poverty and many immigrant and refugee communities can face increased vulnerability to domestic violence and barriers to finding help and Whereas help from friends and neighbors, community education and cohesiveness and coordination of resources and services among community agencies have also proven effective in preventing domestic violence. Now, therefore, the City Council of the City of Burien, Washington does hereby ask all Burien community members to join together to proclaim October 2021 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month in the City of Burien and urges all community members to support efforts to prevent and end domestic abuse, abuse and increase awareness and action on this issue. Dated this fourth day of October, 2021. All right. Go ahead, Angela, you, uh, you have the floor. Congratulations, thank you, Council Member Moore. Thank you so much. Uh, first, just want to express my gratitude and thanks uh, both for the proclamation and the awareness of Domestic Violence Awareness Month, but also the opportunity to speak to the council this evening. Dawn and uh, the city of Burien have had a longstanding relationship and I came on as the executive director for Dawn in June of 2019. And it has been an absolute joy and honor to work alongside the Human Services Commission, as well as had some opportunities to speak to the council. Dawn's impact uh, started back in 1980, and the purpose has been to provide advocacy and support services that empower individuals, families, and community. And our vision is to live in peaceful communities. We provide hope, and the purpose of Dawn is to support, empower, and shelter domestic violence survivors and their children, and also help to prevent the generational cycle of abuse. We also teach healthy relationship curriculum to middle school and high school. We have a partnership with Green River College. My mobile advocates are throughout the community in King County and South King County. Uh, we work with legal advocacy, mental health services, child advocacy. Uh, we also work alongside immigration advocates in our agency and really work to provide a violence-free beginning with the help of resources offered by Dawn, as well as many partnerships throughout the community. Dawn has started from a very small beginning of an office desk and a file cabinet and a phone uh, and providing and using um, homes of friends and family to help house domestic violence. Now Dawn has grown to be a multifaceted agency and on uh, top of the mobile advocacy roles I was discussing, we also support and provide a 24 hour emergency shelter as well as our 24 hour advocacy and support line, um, otherwise known as our crisis line and really looking to be highly intertwined and continue uh, to do the increased need for services in our region. 
Dawn is known for our advocacy work within our community. Uh, Dawn has had the pleasure to work alongside uh, the city of Burien, uh, both to implement outreach strategies to serve domestic violence, as well as immigrants in the area, uh, look to establish connections, uh, looking for clients who may need types of support group or other types of support, uh, working within established connections of DV organizations. Uh, and also providing requests to training, whether that's been to the law enforcement agencies or identified businesses upon request. Uh, we have noticed a pattern uh, twofold, really, in terms of kind of an increase in training requests, especially through the pandemic, wanting to hear and learn more about domestic violence, uh, but also really working alongside of our Burian partners to look at what we can do to support the city of Burian and what my advocates can do to, to both kind of raise that uh, type of referral process, uh, as well as look at our outcome measures for the city of Burien that we serve. Our continued dedication will always be the domestic violence movement has created a system of crisis response, and we want to continue to offer safety and support to survivors. Uh, but as all of you know, the movement sustainability necessitates much more than that crisis response. If we intervene earlier and with broader impact, it touches more people and it's more holistic. A lot of my discussions with my staff really focus around the resources and access for our survivors. And we're working really hard in terms of our overall five-year strategic agency plan. And we've kind of broke that down into six components. Prioritize Dawn's efforts to prevent domestic violence, advance excellent advocacy and programs that address the need of survivors, maintain a cohesive and well-integrated organization, and widen community engagement and involvement in initiatives that end domestic violence. Create a strong foundation for the health and sustainability and advance cultural fluency in all organizational efforts. Again, I thank you for the opportunity to provide a little background on Dawn this evening and for accepting the proclamation. Are there any questions at all? Well, thank you so much, uh, Angela. Congratulations. Thank you so much for the work that uh, Dawn does in our community. Uh, Councilor Moore? Thank you so much for being here, Angela, for all the work you and your organization uh, does for our community. I just was wondering if you could Please give the public um, contact information on how they might reach you if they need help or if they would like to help support your efforts. Sure, absolutely. Um, we have recently updated a few items on our website, uh, both with aspects of additional uh, translation services, but uh, each link will show not only our advocacy programs, uh, emergency shelter, but also what type of support groups that we offer, and also our Domestic Violence Institute, which is offered four times a year. It's certified through the state of Washington for advocates to receive advocacy training, but uh, we frequently have attendees uh, from youth um, just through interested community members. Our next DVI begins October 26th. It's a four week curriculum. Uh, you can find that on our website at www.dawnrising.org. Our crisis line number is also listed on there and that is uh, functional 24 seven, 365 days a year. Thank you so much.